So excited. Today is going to be our first tour in Montenegro. We're doing the Great Montenegrin Tour with 360 Monte. Hopefully it will be a good day. I know we're going to visit a national park. We're going to try some traditional breakfast and we're going to visit a small village and a lake. There is so many things to do for today. A lot in the agenda. So I'm excited for it. So let's go. Prosciutto, homemade cheese and homemade bread. Mm -hmm. But this is the uh, theme of the day. We actually just saw a traditional smoking house. So from the outside, it looks like a regular building. But inside, you can see the walls are all black and it's full of smoke. It's got meat hanging from the ceiling. And I have to say, the smell inside that smokehouse was out of this world. So good. Unbelievable. I want to have a smokehouse in my house. Everybody wants to have a smokehouse in their house. We also had our morning uh, shot of Raki. That's, that's the breakfast of champions. Mm -hmm. To start the day off right, to breakfast of champions. Now this, honestly guys, Ooh. it smells so good. It smells like campfire. It smells like campfire. <laughs> right. How is it? Mm. It's so good. Salty. And, and smoky. We'll, yeah, you also get oh, the bread, so good. olives, and cheese with really, it. Really, really good. That's I will the say. Traditional Montenegrin breakfast. I will say the two we're on today cost 50 euros a person. Five zero, 50 euros. Mm -hmm. uh, this right here, this is worth <laughs> 42. <laughs> it's, it's incredible value. And I got some cappuccino mm. and some juice. I think you should eat it with cheese. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheese and bread, I think. Mm. There you have it. Mm. 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 So, <laughs> we're way up on top of the mountain. Yes. You saw the viewpoints on the way up, winding. Yes. We're going up to the mausoleum where um, one of the kings of Montenegro was buried. And apparently you can see 60% of Montenegro from the mausoleum. Wow. So, next stop, incredible viewpoints. But first, Guys, this is this is the story of the Balkans food for us. Simple ingredients. It's That's really right. good ingredients with simple recipes. That seems to be the story of the Balkans food. Meat, cheese, and bread. That's mm. too, too too basic, right? And no, olives. no. When it's good meat and good cheese and good bread. Olives mm. and raki. That's a Montenegrin breakfast. Mm. <laughs> Five stars. Six stars. All right. Okay, I never really liked prosciutto until I came here. This is the best prosciutto I've had so far. Like in Canada, the prosciutto is so salty. Totally agree. It's so it's, salty. It's not right in Canada. It's yeah, just it's salt. like processed. It's processed. This 100%. one is like natural and it's so good. You can really taste the meat and the fat. And it's, it's so, so good. good. It's not too overwhelmingly yes. salty. It's subtle. You the can taste is subtle. the actual prosciutto. Totally Very agree. good. The mm. thing they're selling in Canada, they shouldn't call it prosciutto. Mm -hmm. It's something else. <laughs> yeah. It's something it's totally so different. Mm. <laughs> it's so good, guys. I like prosciutto now. Mmm, very nice. That's it, eh? That's why they give you the racky in the morning. <laughs> make, it, make you spend money. <laughs> I just thought, that's prosciutto is so good. I just thought, we should get some prosciutto. Okay. Wow. Ten, ten euros. And then I thought, you know what? We should really get some, some cheese, too. <laughs> 20 euros for two. Wow. No regrets. 20 euros. This is unbelievable. It costs a lot, but it's Yvonne so good. So This is the best prosciutto you can have. Yeah. The, Ivana made a great point about prosciutto <laughs> in Canada is something else. It's just like this processed thing. It's so salty. This is the real thing. This is so nice and the flavor is subtle and Ivana's going to give me this piece off her plate. <laughs> so nice of her. So nice of her. Look, Steve finished his yeah. already and I still have mine. <laughs> I didn't, Sorry, guys. I didn't I'm even a chew. slow eater. I didn't even chew. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna be by some of that. <laughs> Top of Montenegro. Oh. oh my gosh. How many steps was that? How many? 460 st stairs. So. 460 stairs. <laughs> it's not that much, Ivan. Oh. When you see the fortress San Giovanni in Kotor, there is a thousand four hundred, three times wow. more, and the old ones, the old ones. All right. This was easy. This was easy. <laughs> Very easy. Hey, this is our tour guide right here. What's your name again? Slavko. Slavko. Slavko, our tour guide from 360 Monte is a great one. When you translate Slavko in our language, it means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so he was saying you can see 60% of Montenegro from yeah. up here. Which is amazing. Yeah. From the viewpoint, I will explain you what you can see and you know why is this was special place. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. All right, the mausoleum of King Niagrish on top of the hill here. Out front we see two women statues. Ivana guessed right that one is his daughter, one is his mother, and the one on the right is the mother because of her hand on her stomach symbolizes pregnancy. Now he's known as the greatest king in Montenegrin history, so inside the mausoleum you see a big statue of him with the eagle. We did go down to his tomb. Unfortunately he died in 1851 at the age of only 38 years old. You can see Niagarish written in Cyrillic on his tomb. And he's such a great king that the former Yugoslavian countries, so uh, Serbia, Bosnia, Croatia, etc., uh, they helped pay for this gigantic lookout point as well as his mausoleum behind me. So other countries that are not Montenegro uh, like helped pay for this because he was such a great leader, building schools and giving uh, infrastructure to Montenegro, known as the greatest king in Montenegrin history and now we're on this incredible viewpoint where we can see 60% of Montenegro. Awesome. So if we were really smart we could identify six countries from this viewpoint. If it was a clear day. Uh, can't do it. I will tell you over here, way over there, is the uh, capital city Pocorice. Down in front of us, way down there, is where we came from and where we had breakfast this morning. So we've covered quite a bit of land on this tour known as the South Circle. I've said this before yes. and I'll say it again. The quality of the tour guide is the quality of the tour on a yeah. small group. And I will say Slavko, great tour guide. Yeah. So far, incredible tour. He gave us lots of info. Tons of info. So and we just learned about all the different districts and where we came from and the capital city and all the history. Yes. And uh, really great tour. And Would Montenegro, recommend. there is no flat city in Montenegro. It's all built on a slope. And I heard from our tour guide during the Ottoman rule, it's how they win the war. Because they would roll rocks from up the mountain into the ground. So the True. Ottoman people, they just gave up. Which is kind of amazing. Yeah, the, yeah. the army with the high ground always wins. Yeah, and just in, look at all the mountains In Montenegro, all you can really use the high ground to your advantage. Yeah, it's all mountainous regions here, here in Montenegro. Awesome. Beautiful, amazing view from up here. All right, let's go mm -hmm. back to the van and keep going. <laughs> Fresh spring water, you see? Yeah, temperature like from a fridge. Tastes good? <laughs> What the viewpoints we saw was incredible. Right. Super excited for the boat ride in the, in the river slash mm -hmm. lake, which mm -hmm. would be incredible. Yes. And it's time for another great meal. Okay, let's eat. Awesome. The spine. Oh. Like this. So then you're removing the 
meat you know, on the side from the bone. Like this, you know, slowly. Then you can you know, okay. the side, Thank but that's you. the easiest way. Wow. Very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Like father and daughter. That was very nice. He was teaching us how to eat fish. <laughs> what do you say, Ivana? Okay, so good lunch? we just finished our lunch. Mine was very good. I got the fish soup and fried fish. It was excellent six stars meal. Whoa, sure. really? Mm hmm Whoa. And you got the chicken. Chicken. Chicken soup and chicken breast. Chicken dinner. Anyway, we're about to get on the boat to take a tour around Scudder Lake, which is on the border to Albania. So let's, let's go. go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> the boat we can swim yes. let's go Coming. <laughs> I found this water lily for you, Ivana. Thanks, Steve. Hand picked. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> the old Mount Buddha looks you know, so small size. Whoa! Check out this island. Saint Stefan. So the idea of this island is this is where all the rich people of Montenegro buy a villa and live a life of luxury as a vacation house. You can see it's incredibly picturesque, sort of secluded, private island. There are individual rooms available for single night booking, like a hotel, and they start at 1200 euros per night, wow. which is pretty <laughs> incredible. So listen guys, if you subscribe to our channel now and tell your friends to subscribe and tell your friends to tell all their friends to subscribe and to all their friends to tell all their friends, we will still not be able to afford it. So do not wait for that <laughs> hey, vlog. Maybe, maybe, never say never, hello. 1200 euros is as much as we spend in maybe two months of travel or one month of travel. It's our budget for the whole month. <laughs> <laughs> if we anyway. stay there, it will be spent in one night. Yeah. But maybe, hey, we will Best get, vlog ever. We will get an invitation, <laughs> hopefully, from someone. That would be really special. But here we are, we're back in the old town now. It's about like 7.30 at night, 8 o'clock at night. So it's a full 11 hour tour we took today. And I will say, I absolutely recommend it. It seems like Montenegro is sort of 
best explored on a tour. For example, the mausoleum this morning with that amazing 360 degree viewpoint. How would you even get there from Kotor without a tour group? I mean, you could take a taxi, which would be crazy expensive, and then it'd be what, taxi back after that? Or you right. could maybe rent a car. But the thing is, all the stops we did um, really kind of lent themselves to be on a tour group with a tour guide. That's right. Slavko was a really good guide. And if you just rented a car and took yourself around, you'd miss tons of information. There's no information at the mausoleum yeah. signage. That's right. Um, all the viewpoints we stopped at, which were really picturesque, are not labeled and you just kind of have to know how to get there. He knows so, all the good stuff. If people are coming to Montenegro, I would recommend on your first day or two taking some tours and then after the tours, now you'll have some information in your head of where you want to go, where the best beaches are, and you can ask Slavko all your questions and everything. Mm -hmm. The tour was so good that tomorrow we will take another tour. Yes, amazing, amazing We tour. had such a great experience, we thought uh, we can do this again. And then in future videos, we'll be exploring at our own pace now that we understand uh, what's going on in Montenegro, where to explore and where not to explore. I will yes. say, we did tons of stuff in the tour that we did not put in the video. For example, we took a walking tour of the royal city, which is the old capital. Mm. So the reason they moved the capital in 1982 is because the royal city is literally boxed in by mountains and there's no more space. Right. So they moved the capital to Pogo Riche. <laughs> yeah, right. um, and again, walking through, getting all the information and tons of great stories from Slavko. I think a tour in Montenegro is really worth it. Yes, what was your favorite part? of the tour? Uh, probably swimming in the lake with the lily pads. Oh yes, that was Really magical. nice. I will Honestly. say if I was, if I didn't crash a drone last week, I would have flew the drone off the boat. <laughs> but I thought I'm not crashing two drones in two weeks. So we... <laughs> On another lake. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was your favorite part? Uh, oh my goodness, there Maybe are Maybe the 360 so viewpoint many. of the mausoleum was really yes, nice that too. that was great. Even like simple things, just like trying the, the traditional breakfast, prosciutto. Ooh, it's in the backpack. It's so good. It's so good. And also our lunch. I love that fried fish. Really, really nice. Really good. We had a really great day today. Like, yeah. like you're saying, if you just rented a car and went around yourself, you wouldn't yeah. get this homemade prosciutto and go inside a local's house where they're smoking prosciutto. You wouldn't get the fresh fish. You wouldn't know where to eat. Yeah, I think yeah. a tour guide is really worth it. Yeah, they know where to go. So we what booked with, you. yeah, yeah, 360 Monty. Yeah. It's literally in the old town. That's why we went there. We explored the old town. We saw the sign. We said, okay, let's ask them. And it's so good. We will be doing one tomorrow. Yeah, so if anyone want to do this tour, it's called the Great Montenegro Tour. Great Montenegro Tour, AKA the South Circle. Yeah. Tomorrow we will be doing the North, North Montenegro, Montenegro tour. tour. Yeah, amazing tour. Um, amazing should be similar day. with different experiences and different food, yeah. and uh, looking forward to it. Yes, I am so tired. Now. I'm actually totally tired. <laughs> A full day. Full Honestly, day. the racking in the morning gave me extra energy. <laughs> amazing. But now we're just gonna have a small little dinner. And I'm actually having ice cream for dinner. <laughs> Ivan's gonna have ice cream and I'm gonna have a beer for dinner. So it's not really dinner, it's ice cream and beer, but we're both full and probably be sleeping by nine o'clock. Yes, yes. Really great day today. Mm -hmm. And the tour, the, the group was perfect, six people. Yeah, so two, a people small from, group. two people from Macedonia, a Brazilian guy, and a guy from Russia. Yeah. And Slavko's joking around with everybody, talking about everything. Really yes. good tour guide. Yes. Uh, would recommend. Yes. There you have it. All right. Later, skater. See you guys in the next video for a North Montenegro tour. See you. Awesome. Look at that. Good timing. Thank you. I got the big one. Later, guys. Honey, Raki, and prosciutto. <laughs> I want everything in cheese. Yeah. And what is this? I don't know, but it looks good. And I want, even, I want this whole shelf. Honey, Raki. Yeah, anyway, oh, yo, we're yo. at the restaurant where we will try the traditional Montenegrin breakfast with the prosciutto we just saw hanging. Awesome. Smoked prosciutto. Awesome. I will say. Racky in the morning is not nearly as bad of an idea as beer in the morning. <laughs> I grew up drinking beer, and you can't have beer in the morning because you're just tired all day. That's right. Racky is just more, it's more fresh, it's more it clean. It wakes you up. And it wakes you up, and you feel a little, ooh, feel a little buzz, and then, and then you just go back to normal. That's right. Beer in the morning, by noon or by two o'clock, you're like sleepy. You'll be lazy. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So I, I, th I think I'm understanding the Racky in the morning. Yeah. The when Balkan I first got to the Balkans, culture. I was like, 
<laughs> you can't drink in the morning. You're gonna sleep all day. No, Raki is a different thing than beer. Yeah. It's quite nice. All right. Yum. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You have to stand here to experience it. What is it? What is it? Stand here. Tell me what it is. Stay. I feel like they're tricking me. It feels like you're in a glass dome. It's not a joke. Stay here. I feel like you're mocking me. Stay here and say something. Stay here and say something. Is it a joke? What? Is it a joke? It feels like you're in a glass dome. Hello. It's very weird. It doesn't make any sense. It feels like the sound is bouncing off something and hitting you. Yeah. Like a glass like a glass dome. Yeah. It makes you feel like I'm tripping out. It makes it sound, I don't like it. Very weird. <laughs> that was weird. Why there? Anyway.